Hey there, Mike Stelzner, founder of Social Media Examiner, coming at you this week with a marketing tip. And what I'm going to be talking about is how to put a marketing plan together. And because I'm actually actively working on the marketing plan for Social Media Marketing World 2014, and this is the conference guide for 2013, uh, I thought I would show you the marketing plan. And here it is right here. And you can see it's many, many pages. And I just want to share with you at a high level some tips on how you can put a marketing plan together. Now, one of the first things that I do in this marketing plan is I say, that what are the who, what, where, when, and why? And also, how long? So, who should be you targeting with this thing? Um, where, when, what are the factoids, and why should someone participate? Why should they come? And how long is the actual campaign for your marketing effort? The next thing is channels. Now, you'll notice here that I've got this massive list of channels here. And as a marketer, you may not think about channels in the way that I do, and I just want to share a couple things like email channels. So Social Media Examiner, we've got our daily email blast that goes out to 225,000 people, so that's a channel. And we can also do a dedicated email blast. We've got socialmediaexaminer.com, so you've got your website. We've got the Social Media Marketing Podcast. Each of our social communities is a channel, LinkedIn, Facebook, and so on and so forth. YouTube, this is a channel that I'm communicating with just some people through. Our affiliates, now you may not think of them as a channel, but they are because they're another channel that you can use. Webinars, and so on and so forth. Sponsors, there's just so many different kinds of channels. So you have to identify what are the channels that you have to work with. So once you figured out the facts, and then you have the channels, the next thing you want to do is figure out what creative assets do we have available at our discretion. So in the case of Social Media Marketing World, we've got a number of videos. For example, we produced a video of the conference, we produced one for sponsors, we produced another one with people that attended last year saying how much they loved it. Other assets that we have are audio. So we've got audio ads that we've created that we're going to use in the podcast. Photographs are another asset. We have so many pictures that we took and attendees look at, took at the last conference. And other kind of assets are um, things that people have written about you. So for example, if this is an ongoing thing that you've been doing, perhaps people have written blog posts about it and these are assets. So other things are graphics. We have this massive repository of graphics that we have created, all sorts of different kinds of graphics. Some of them are the logo of the event. Some of them are graphics that we use in our PowerPoint presentations. Um, flyer, we have a flyer that we've created. So there's so many different assets that you have. So it's very important at a very high level to identify that target audience identify the different channels that you have, and then the assets. Once you have all of that, then the next step is to put together a plan. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about what our plan is just for October. And you can see that we've got a multi-page plan for the month of October. And in October, we're in what we call the evangelist phase. And what that means is we're far enough out from the launch of the conference that we know that not everyone's going to be ready to purchase. So we just have to start getting people excited. So we do lots of things like we set up our Facebook event page and we invite people that were at our Facebook event page for last year to come on over to the new page. We invite the speakers. We post questions on there like, what are you most looking forward to? So these are the kind of things that we do at the evangelism phase. Other things that we do are include photographs from people that attended last year doing fun things. Like for example, somebody did a paddleboard race with people from different countries in San Diego Bay and we put that up on Facebook. And these are just completely random kind of out of the box kind of things to get people excited about what we're doing. So this is just a high level overview of how to put a marketing plan together. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section on YouTube and I'll do my best to reply to you. My name is Mike Stelzner from Social Media Examiner and watch for more videos from me in the future.